In this video, I'm going to show you removing unwanted MIDI notes in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to record a MIDI piano performance. I've already set up my track with a piano VST instrument on it. I'm going to go into record on this track, set up to get input from my USB MIDI keyboard. So let's go into record and play a performance. That sounded pretty good. Let's take it out of record. Let's see the MIDI notes we played by double clicking a MIDI item and open up the MIDI editor, which looks like this. Let's hear it back. Now it sounds and looks good, but if you look down here, there's some unwanted notes. I accidentally recorded by mistake. And we can tell that because the notes are really short. And if we go down here to the velocity, we can see those notes are pretty quiet. So I want to find a way to quickly delete those notes, as they're unwanted notes we don't really need or don't want in our performance. And we can zoom in really close to them, and we can see they're not really notes we need. So let's zoom back out. So one thing we could do is go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type in Delete to the filter. And right over here, we could delete all notes that are less than a certain length. Less than eighth notes, 16th notes, 32nd notes, and so on. We could choose these actions, and they'll delete all these little short notes we don't need. But it's kind of a trial and error, and there's a better way to do the same thing. Instead, we could right click over here, go to View, and choose Filter Events. Or we could just hit the F key, and that opens up Filter Events. And we could filter events based on certain parameters. In this case, we could use the note length or the velocity, as those notes are played very quietly. So the first option I like to use is right over here to show only events that pass through the filter. So we can visually see the filter we create. We could choose the event type to be notes. I'm going to go down here to length and choose a length to separate the good notes from the bad ones. We could type in from zero to whole notes, and we could see all the notes still show up. We could filter it down to half notes, quarter notes, and notice as we do this, some of the notes are disappearing. And if we get down to 30 second notes, we just start seeing the unwanted notes we don't need. We could turn off this option to see the difference or invert it to see the good notes versus the bad ones. But notice I'm still seeing this bad note right here. So let's change this to be a bit lower. Let's try 24. Now we could see if we invert it, all the good notes are still there and the bad notes are in our filter. And we can keep tweaking the length to separate the good notes from the bad ones. But I think this looks pretty good. So now we can turn this off. We can set the selection based on our filter, which just selects those unwanted MIDI notes, close this, and just delete them. And now we just have the notes we want. We could also do this with MIDI velocity. As I said, these notes are hit very soft, so we could separate them by velocity. Type F to reopen the filter. Let's clear it and start again. Event type B notes. Turn this back on. And this time we'll choose velocity. We'll type in 0 to 127. And we're still going to see all the notes in the performance because 0 to 127 is the full range of velocity values. We could bring this down to 50. Now we only see the quieter notes. But I prefer to start 
from the bottom with like two, four, and work my way up until I start to see these unwanted notes. 10, 15, invert the selection, and we just see the good notes and now the bad ones. Now, if we just wanted to hear the bad notes, we could sew it right here. When we play it, we're just going to hear these notes to make sure they're unwanted. And they are. But now we can turn the filter off, set selection. Now we just selected the unwanted notes. And again, we could delete them to remove them from the performance. Now we could also do it a different way. We could choose some of the unwanted notes by dragging, let's drag these three, and create a filter based on these unwanted notes. Clear it again. Choose the option right here to set filter from selection. Then it uses these notes to create a filter. We don't need channel one. We want note. We don't need low and high notes as the mistakes could be high or they could be low. So don't really want to use this feature. We could use velocity or just use the length and then tweak it from here to get the perfect filter for the notes. Or we could use velocity right here. These notes are between five and seven. We could expand it to 14, invert it. Here are the good notes, and here are the bad notes. So, doing it this way, we could again set the selection, which selects all the bad notes, delete them, and we're back to our perfect performance. But there's one other way, which is probably the quickest way. But it's a bit clumsy if you're not careful when you select the notes. We can go down here and notice in the velocities and just drag the lower range. Make sure you select all the lowest notes. Now we can see just the lowest velocities are selected. It's a bit harder with a longer performance, and we want to be careful not to delete any good notes. So now we can delete this. We just have our perfect. MIDI performance. So that's pretty much it. That's how to remove unwanted MIDI notes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.